Hello, my name is Kyle DeHaas with a band called the Native Transplants in Austin, Texas. Today I'll demonstrate two types of modulated short delay effects in the Ardor 3 Digital Audio Workstation in Ubuntu Studio Linux. In the last lesson, we created a piece of music uh, with three parts. It had kick, bass, and lead. We made this using the chord monotron synthesizer. Due to the simple nature of this synth, the parts are monophonic and kind of static. They have little movement and space to them. Today, we'll add space and movement to the music and make it come alive. We'll use two types of modulated short delays to achieve this, a flanger and a chorus. On the bass line, we'll use a flanger. It is a comb filter. Uh, it's got a slight delay that's put into motion by a low frequency oscillator, LFO for short. We'll change the delay time to give it a nice wash of sound that moves back and forth. Um, we want subtle motion on the bass line. We'll make it do slightly different things in the left and right speaker to achieve stereo separation. On the lead, we'll do something a little different. We'll use a chorus. The role of a chorus is to make it seem like there are multiple performers performing the same part. They're all a little out of tune with each other and that creates a thick sound. It's done by making many copies of the same signal and then slightly shifting the pitch in all of them. It does this by manipulating delay time and it changes the pitch differently in the left and right so you get a much wider sound. So let's look at how they're implemented. Uh, we'll use what are called CAF plugins that are available in Linux. We'll look at the delay time, the LFO, the feedback, and the dry and wet sections as applicable. As we're looking at these, I'll describe what I'm doing to, uh, first, and then we'll play the dry sound. Then I'll apply the effect and manipulate it until I get the sound that I'm looking for. Then finally, we'll play them all together so we hear the full orchestral result. Okay, in order, first we'll play a few seconds of the original unaffected track. Now, the first thing that we'll do is work on the bass. Uh, we're going to use a flanger. This is the calf flanger. Uh, the LFO rate is controlled here, the modulation rate. Then down here we've got a delay. I've got it set on about halfway. I've got a fairly deep modulation depth, LFO depth. I want low feedback. I'm going to have the dry amount and the wet amount set to equal. And I have the stereo 90 degrees out of phase. Let's see what it sounds like when uh, we put it into effect. Okay, fairly significant effect. It gives it that uh, movement uh, left and right and gives it a lot of uh, space in the sound. Next, we'll work on the lead. The lead, we're using the calf multi-chorus. Um, I want a fairly uh, significant delay, five milliseconds, a good depth. Um, I want the dry amount to be zero. I want the wet amount to be more than that, about six decibels. I'm adding four voices, putting them slightly out of tune here. Um, I'm putting the phase, uh, stereo phase, 180 degrees uh, to each other, and I'm having a moderate modulation rate. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, again, uh, quite a significant effect. Now let's see what it sounds like when they're all put together. Um, we'll uh, fade out with the, the resulting tune. From Austin, Texas, this is Kyle. Thank you.